Hello. Okay, I've just finished my workout, which was um, wall Pilates today. Um, I'm quite liking that. I've done Pilates before, and obviously I'm a yoga teacher. Wall Pilates is a little bit different, um, but it's okay. And because it's new and I haven't done it before, I have to really concentrate on what they're saying. So um, I actually find that quite relaxing as well. It's quite good. Um, so, yeah, it's a new week. I am just going to keep continuing what I'm doing. So my sleep was much better yesterday. Hurrah. Um, water is really good now. I'm getting in the stride of these workouts. I'm working out probably three times a week and then adding in some swimming a couple of times a week. I still need to make sure that I'm getting my steps. My steps have been a bit low, so I'm going to be a little bit more conscious about how my steps are. Um, today I did all my data collecting, so I weighed, I measured, I actually haven't taken a photograph of myself, so I should probably do that in a minute. Um, I wanted to show you the data because I wanted to show you how when you've been flying, um, it really affects your weight and it goes up and down. But interestingly, probably because I wanted to share it, I haven't really done that this time. Um, so it was a little bit higher than when I left, um, maybe two pounds higher than when I left my holiday I was away for two weeks. I actually haven't been back a whole week yet because we didn't get back till Wednesday of last week. So I've still got a few more days. So it was a little bit higher. Um, it has started to come down and it's continued to come down. And what I wanted to show you was that actually it goes up and down. And because considering my sleep has been so bad, which also affects the um, scaled data, it's a bit weird. So it's probably not a very good example i don't really know what's going on but i guess that's you know part of why we're here and what we're doing just goes to show you that scale data really isn't that reliable when you have it on its own you need it as part of a big picture so i will take some photographs of myself later um and but i have measured myself so i can see uh, and i hadn't done that at the beginning of this i was going to and then i didn't and then we went away and so today really even though we're like a month in is probably the first day that I've collected all of the data correctly. And that's okay, you know, we, we, we're doing it for 100 days. We've still got plenty of days left to go to see how it happens, what happens with it, um, how it looks. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite interested in how that's been and I'm pleased with how it is. And actually, I guess it kind of shows real life, doesn't it? Like I'm here to show you something and it didn't actually work. And that's okay because, you know, you might be following along and going, well, actually, Kim, it didn't work for me either. Um, or yours might be completely different because we are all different, aren't we? So even though it's a bad example of what I was trying to show you, it's a good example of just how you cannot rely just on scale data and that it fluctuates all over the place and is never normal. Even though I thought there was going to be a pattern, there wasn't. So... There we go. Anyway, that's today's update. I'll see you all tomorrow.